Welcome to the Drum Set Shrink Podcast. My name is Stefano Ashbridge, and this is a show about the challenges that come with playing the drums and what you can do about them so you enjoy your drumming journey. Visit drumlessonsinla.com for online and in-person drum coaching. When you're trying to find the drumstick that feels great to play, it's helpful to know the characteristics that affect their performance. Let's take a look at the things that make the difference in a drumstick. Size. There seem to be thousands of different stick sizes available. Also, most well-known drummers have their own modified custom signature sticks through the company they endorse. The good news is that most sticks are variations of the basic categories. The main sizes have numbers, 7, 5, and 2, with the numbers getting smaller as the sticks get bigger. Think small, medium, and large. So a 7 would be a small stick, and a 2 would be a large stick. Each of these sizes also has a letter classification, A for acoustic or light playing, B for band, which is a little thicker, and S for street or marching, which would be the thickest. Different sticks are suitable for different playing styles. For example, a thin 7A size stick may be suitable for bebop jazz because of the fast yet intricate playing, whereas 2Bs are heavier and thicker and are used by harder hitting rock players. 5Bs, which are the most versatile, fall in between 2Bs and 5As. You can have different size sticks for different playing situations, It's also worth noting that each manufacturer's stick sizes may vary a little, so a 5B from one company could feel a little different than a 5B from another company. And it's important to note that these are just guidelines though. Whatever stick size feels right in your hands for your playing situation is what you should use. The wood. The three main types of wood used to make most drumsticks are oak, hickory, and maple. Each differs in weight, density, and texture. Oak is the heaviest and darkest wood out of the three. Oak sticks are durable and usually last longer than sticks made of other types of wood. Hickory is probably the most popular wood for drumsticks and is lighter than oak. It's responsive and sturdy. Maple is a very light wood that allows for a larger diameter stick without the extra weight, but it's less durable. You can use the weight of different woods to your advantage. For example, if you like how a certain oak stick feels, but it's a little too heavy, try that same size in hickory. Some drummers prefer sticks made out of synthetic materials because of the durability. The material is stronger than wood, therefore it lasts longer. And shock absorption. The shock of the impact on a cymbal or drum is reduced before it reaches the hands. The shoulder. The length of the shoulder, that's where the stick starts to get skinny, affects how quickly the stick rebounds off of a drum or cymbal. A long narrow taper is fast and responsive. A short quick taper feels front heavy with less rebound. The tip. The tip of the stick, what it's made of and its shape, affects tone and articulation. Tips are made out of either wood or nylon. Wood tips produce a warmer sound, and nylon tips sound brighter and are more durable. Round and barrel-shaped tips have a bright, clear tone, while oval-shaped tips have a dark, warm tone. Teardrop and acorn-shaped tips produce a full, rich tone, while arrowhead-shaped tips have a light, sharp tone. Length. The length of the stick affects its leverage and reach around the drum set. The average size of a drumstick is about 16 inches long. Longer sticks tend to feel heavier. Finish. A stick's finish affects its grip and feel. Lacquered sticks are smooth and can help reduce blisters and chafing. An uncoated stick helps to improve gripping. Some drummers use grip tape on the end of their sticks to improve the feel of their grip. Specialty sticks. For alternative sounds, you can use brushes or or dowel rod type sticks. Brushes are wire or nylon strands attached to the grip handle of a drumstick. Brushes have a playing technique all their own. Dowel rods are bundles of wooden rods that produce a sound louder than brushes, but not as loud as a regular stick. Also, mallets, sticks with a felt or yarn ball at the tip, produce a muted sound on the drums and are great for cymbal rolls. How to choose a stick. Ideally, you want sticks that are identical, straight, and feel the same in each hand. 
Most drumsticks today are made with precise manufacturing methods, but check to see that they're the same length, made with the same material. Check each drumstick for straightness by rolling the stick on a hard, flat surface. If the stick wobbles as you roll it, then it's not straight. If you're new to drumming, don't let all of this information confuse you. Overall, you just want a stick that feels comfortable and makes the sound you want. Since sticks will break over time and need to be replaced, feel free to try different models. Most music stores will let you try their sticks on a practice pad before you buy them. I hope this information helps you choose the right stick for your playing situation. Thanks for listening. Visit drumlessonsinla.com for online and in-person drum coaching. Till next time.